behalf of the team, I would like to welcome you to the Caribbean Tourism Career Accelerator 2022, the first of its kind, and we hope to be the first of many more. We are sure to assist you through this period in the best possible manner. So welcome once again, and congratulations to everyone. People sometimes wonder if the Caribbean, uh, being the, the biggest region in, in the world, uh, does it have room to grow? There are a lot of cruise ships. Um, is cruising going to grow? And I think the answer to all those questions is yes. Connecting with people in that positive interaction. If they remember you and you added value to their life, you treated them well, you treated them with respect, you have no idea where that person will be in your life, in your life path uh, years down the road. And they could absolutely open up doors for you in your career. But I spent the next several years running a hotel and then I became I, I became so interested in it I wanted to see the world and this is where the magic happens in hospitality because you can see the world I had no visa to get to outside of Australia I had no no means to get outside of Australia the hospitality took me that way tourism took me that way I believe that tourism is going to need a whole new generation of leadership um, and this leadership is going to going to play out in, in different ways um, Destinations, DMOs in particular, are increasingly hiring new kinds of uh, positions and, and new kinds of skills. Every aspect of tourism is faced with opportunities. Every aspect of tourism and a traveler's life, especially these days, is changing. Every aspect of delivering travel is evolving. So it's the technology uh, that's, that's enabling all of this. Brand is the representation of a promise. And the promise is something that the brand uh, makes to the people, right? When you're inspired and when you're passionate about something, it creates an energy that other people want to feel and it helps people you know, gravitate towards you. It, it helps you find support for what you're doing. And again, you know, you have to have that sense of curiosity to really find what inspires you and, and to continue to reinvent yourself and be inspired by different things as your life goes on and your career goes on. So when you're looking at a workforce, um, there, are, there are destinations where the people who were, or organizations overall, where the people who work within that organization don't match the, the populations that live in a place. So whatever it is your heart is telling you at this very moment to do, you put things in place with the help of others, with the help of research, with the help of our mentors, and just get it done. I became interested in the tourism sector and noticed that it really is a sector where um, you can make a positive difference in the world, not just the environment, but also in local economies, create opportunities for people to um, grow their own businesses and take control of their own destinies and their own homes. Of course, we are a diverse island of a diverse economy. People can do whatever they want, but what we want is for the generations to come at one point to choose tourism. If they don't choose, choose tourism, that is also not a problem. Then what we created in their first uh, 10 years, 15 years, uh, 10 to 12 years in their education is to give them a sense of belonging in tourism. 